are sitting on the stage of Sid Grauman's Million Dollar Theater, which was built in 1918. It was Los Angeles' first great movie palace, and it was the first movie palace that Grauman built in Los Angeles. This theater really broke the mold. It's been described as a Spanish cathedral within a Greek temple, but there's a lot of other elements involved in the design that are pretty brand new. Uh, William Lee Woollett was the young architect that Grauman contracted with to create the interior of the building. And he believed that every surface should have some sort of decoration. The thing that's hard to understand with the theater now, or to realize, is that this theater was a kaleidoscope of colors in 1918 when people came in. Uh, the last 95 years have taken their toll. Certain things have been painted out. Colors have faded. But essentially, it's all still here. The Million Dollar has been altered more than any other theater on Broadway, which means that there are a number of magnificent hidden things that will be revealed when this theater comes back to life. We are now uh, standing on top of the lobby ceiling of the Million Dollar, the outer lobby ceiling, which was added in the late 40s or early 50s. Brownman wanted the theater to tell a story and they chose um, a Ruskin short story or parable called The King of the Golden River. And behind me is the signature mural for The King of the Golden River, or at least the top part of it. And the good news is we see a little bit of it up here, but it continues down, uh, down into where it would have been uh, eye level in the lobby. The good news is it is eminently restorable. And I think the most spectacular mural we have up here remaining is the one that was on the side wall of the lobby as you entered. Uh, and it's carved in the stone, say along, say along, say along. And this mural is still shining because they used real gold paint and real gold leaf. And this really begins to suggest the rich colors that Woollett used, not only out here in these murals, but in the auditorium. And if you've ever been outside the Million Dollar, you realize that the building itself is a work of art. And that was really what the architects wanted. They wanted to build what was called a temple of mirth. And all over this building, inside and out, are classic figures from almost every entertainment tradition since the beginning of recorded time. And they're very playfully juxtaposed and pulled together. And somehow or another, these disparate ideas all come together to create this unified whole. The theater seats 2,000 people. It has the largest stage on Broadway. It's over 30 feet deep. And aside from a few issues, this would be an incredible house for Broadway shows, live theater, concerts. The whole, the whole spectrum of entertainment could be housed in this building.